let's talk a little bit more about the shape of the distribution. And really, um, I'm going to focus on occurrence just a little bit here. Um, I mentioned it in the previous video, if you watched that one, that occurrence has something to do with the mode. And we know that the mode is the value that appears the most, or at least we should know that. So you can see here that in this distribution, there's one peak. And if there's one peak, then we call that unimodal. So the occurrence can be found by looking at the shape. That's why I'm talking about that uh, occurrence along with shape. Whereas over here in this graph, in this example, I should say histogram, we've got two peaks. Here's one peak, and here's another peak. And since there are two peaks, we call that bimodal. Like bicycle has two wheels, this distribution has two peaks, so we call it bimodal. Now, if you're ever faced with a distribution that has two peaks that is bimodal like this one, lots of times what you eventually would want to do is kind of separate the two peaks and see if there's a reason why there's a peak, on, a peak in one spot and a peak in another spot. Um, if there's just one peak, then you don't have to do that. Um, this one doesn't have anything to do with occurrence. This last example here uh, goes back to shape, and it's a special case. Since all of our bars in a histogram are almost the same shape, we really can't call this skewed left or skewed right or bell-shaped or um, normal-shaped. So we just call this uniform because everything is the same. You know, all, all the football players wear uniforms because they all look the same. They wanna, don't want to get confused. So they all look the same. Uniform, almost all of the bars are the same. So that's just a little bit more about the shape of a distribution.